Hey guys, my name is Sediac, and welcome back to the third episode of Railway Empire 2. Well, last episode, guys, we reconfigured our whole rail lines right now, and we've got a really, really good system all up and running, and we've connected all the way down to London, even all the way down to Dover, which uh, our beautiful little train company right now has some absolutely amazing expansions. Uh, all of the four cities that we have up and running now are all being supplied with goods to enable them to create uh, the unique products in their industries and they get distributed to all the cities. Now, I was kind of slightly worried the fact that we've spent quite a bit of money and I'm thinking to myself, I don't know if I'm even making any profit at this point. Well, if you check the company right now and go to the quarterly report, you can see what we make each quarter here. Now, forget the the investment section underneath here because this, this can change as I build and buy stuff and sell stuff. So don't worry about this right now. But first quarter, we made, uh, I'm not up to nearly half a million, but that did come with uh, a bonus there, as you can see. Second quarter, not too much. Third quarter, a little bit less. This is where you're starting to panic a little bit. But this qu uh, quarter currently, 322,000 big ones. Now, it's a total of nearly 400,000 coming in from freight, passengers, and mail. So we know that is all goods that we are shipping ourselves. And then staff costs, maintenance, fuel, all that kind of jazz totals down to 71,000. So we're making money. We're actually making some really, really good money. Then obviously it all depends on how much I then spend. <laughs> well, today we're going to do some more expansions and probably almost bankrupt the whole company. Because I want to get connected now all the way from York all the way down to Hollyhead. Now, I've set myself up a little bit of a rule. On one single line, I'll only connect a maximum of four cities. Because uh, then at that point right there, it's long enough, enough cities on the line. I can get multiple trains on the route anyway. So you can see we've got Birmingham, Oxford, London, and Dover. There's already four cities on this route. So we'll then do four cities here, York, Manchester, Liverpool, and Hollyhead. And then we'll try and get another route that goes from Birmingham to Manchester to Carlisle, then either to Glasgow or Edinburgh. That will be the other third route that I have the other four cities on. And then that third route will then combine the first route and the second route together. So if we can get these guys rocking and rolling, by the time I build my third one, Oh my goodness me, Birmingham and Manchester are going to be some huge interchanges right now. Uh, with passengers getting from one lines to the others. So, I'm really excited about this. We did some really, really sweet changes. This is what we did. I kind of created... I kind of did it with my experience in uh, Transport Fever 2. My old Chrissy Crossy here. Then it splits into all the lanes. Now, a lot of you guys are saying like, Whoa, Sadiq, you got a little bit overkill right there. But as we progress, we've got all the systems in. So, I don't need to worry too much. So I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Now, Do Dover's growing by the, by the looks of it. 22,000 citizens, which is really, really good. Uh, my home city of Birmingham right now, it's not growing as much, but I'm hopefully hoping it will as time goes on. So we're three quarters of a million in the bank right now. We'll let these guys continue to complete their loops, and we're going to look a little bit more north as we get this all rocking and rolling. Now, I truly don't know if I'm going to be able to afford to do this four city route today. So if I can't do it, because obviously I ain't got enough money, we'll first focus on Manchester to Liverpool connections, because they're the two big cities. Even though Liverpool's a one rated there, if, you, if that's what you want to call it, one bar growth, these are two. We'll focus on these two, and then because they're the, the furthest distances, we'll go from there. Oh, seat upholstery. Hello. What is going on here, boys? What is going on here? So, these research results will be auctioned to the highest bidder. Now, I don't want to bid on anything, right? But I do know in the researching, which if I can remember where it is right now, where is the researching? Here. I currently have a thousand innovation points. Now, rather than spend the money, I could use my innovation points to research this stuff. This makes life a little bit easier. Now, I think we should actually get some of this stuff done. We already have the rocket which is the only train that I can currently use right now. If I research the train uh, whistle, it'll increase the ticket price for passengers by 5%, okay? So that means your boy can now charge 5% more on my trains. Uh, the seat upholstery, which will increase the number of passengers in all cities of your train station by 5%, again, beautiful. So it's cheaper, it's cheaper than, <laughs> it's cheaper than paying for it. And then this one here, the iron fire tubes, decreases the price of new locomotives by 5% as well. Now, I'll get this research as well. 
which then goes ahead and unlocks some new stuff. I got the ability to build... Whoa, 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 what's this here? Large warehouses at train stations allow big quantities of goods to be stored. Allows you to upgrade train stations with warehouses. These allow goods to be exchanged between different lines. Hello. Hello. So that will be good when we eventually get a line from Manchester to Birmingham. So we'll save that. But is this a new train? The Adler. So this train here, speed of 26 kilometers. This one goes to 34. Traction 23%. This one's 18. Oh, boys. We're getting a new train right now. Let's unlock this puppy. I wonder if this locomotive will recoup its cost. Excuse me. Excuse me right now. And then we have the option to uh, reduce the construction of bridges. I'm not building any bridges just yet. Reduce the cost charged by personal offices uh, for well-being of your employees. But I can reduce my staff costs. Now, I won't worry too much right now. We'll just kind of continue to now save up uh, the research points. But the fact that I now have the ability to get a new train is very, very, very exciting. Very exciting right now. So, oh, this is going to be good. Right, let's rock and roll then. So, we've got 800 fans in the bank. The money is slowly creeping up. The money's slowly creeping up, so let's get this going, boys. Let's get this rocking and rolling. So, okay, so building constructions. We're going to build a train station. Now, how much is a train station? I always forget how much it is. Uh, do we know? Is is that a thing? Are we going to find out? Let's, uh... I forgot how to rotate as well. How do I rotate? Oh, no, that's the wrong button, Sadiac. I always forget you got to press shift and hold it. So if I build this just on the outskirts right now to give Manchester still the ability to grow a little bit, it's going to cost me 50000 Do you know what? I will be able to afford all of this. So I will have to build a bridge going over here. As it goes down to uh, Hollyhead right now. So if I just rotate this a little bit. Build you just there. Oh no, I can't build you there. Why not? Oh, I think it's the terrain. Is it the terrain? You must first connect the train station to Manchester. Uh, before you construct another train station. Oh, that might be an issue. Because, you know, I don't really want it to be connected just yet. Okay, so, if that's the case, okay, we don't need to see the, re the quarterly report. If that's the case, we have to get it connected to Birmingham, so it's on the line, and I can build the rest. So if I'm going to use Manchester to be the, be uh, the, the, the big old connection... It's going to come up this way, and then it will kind of connect into the line that crit, uh, cuts across. Right. This is going to be interesting. So, train lines. Let's get this all done. So, from there to here. What's that? There's a 9% gradient. Oh, my goodness me. Right, well, well, geez, why is that? So Do you know what? I'm going to delete this and, and start again. That's a huge gradient, isn't it? Holy smokes. Right, if I put it about here, then. Does it change the gradient by much? So that becomes, I mean, the further you pull it out, the less the gradient will be. But of, of course... It becomes a tunnel. Now that all of a sudden becomes half a million to build. And I'm not about that life. You know what I mean? I'm not about that life right now, spending a million. So, we'll uh, play around with the gradients here. That should work. That should work and we build you. <laughs> Holy smokes! Right, down to here. build you and now we've got to build all of our little crissy crossy systems which is quite exciting right now so build you out to here uh, build you to there so then build you to here and then you cut in oh did I just oh I just I deselected it all right you to here and then in Right, this is a bit longer than I would have normally done it elsewhere. But this will still do the job for us. 
It will still do the job for us. I ain't going to complain too much. Build. Oh, I forgot to connect these in as well. Oh, can I not connect these in? What's going on here then, boys? Build. Why can't I connect you in? What's going on? What's going on here, mate? Alright, scrap you. There we go. Perfect. And then, ye old crisscross. Done. That's more heavy duty than anything I've ever built before. It really is. It really is. So, the logic in this is then, when we eventually go up towards, uh, is it Carlisle? I believe it is. Uh, and we'll probably go, turn up, and then go this way into it. So, I think the, the bend down to Birmingham will happen first. And we'll build that in. Here. We'll build it to there. So, confirm that. And then I'll lead this one down. Build, there we go. And then on the way to... I forgot what that place is called now as well. Right, would that work? No. Whoops a daisy. Right there. But obviously I want to bend it. No. How do I delete that little bit there? Uh, oh, got it. Press shift. It's just, it's just kind of more of annoying to uh, get the track points in because you got to do it like this, and that's the annoying bit. So if I build that, just bear with me a second, boys, and it should stick together. Right, so that arc goes off there. That should turn in for Manchester. So when a train gets for Birmingham, it'll go, it'll scoot it up, turn into Manchester, and then obviously when it goes up to then Carlisle, it'll then come back out and it'll do the turn this way to shoot up because it could go this way and round, but it's a little bit longer, and I think then the turn, the turn for that, can you not build straight off it? Would happen down here. Okay, maybe not that far down. We'll go here. Okay, that's not going to play ball either. We'll go there. Go there, but obviously I don't want the bridges to happen. And now what's going on over here, boys? Alright, bring that down. Alright, is that about right? How's that now looking? It's about right, isn't it? I'm trying to get max speed on it. Right, we'll go with that. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go with that. Right, now this goes all the way in to down here. Into there. So you can now see where my turn-offs now happen. Now, if you want to go straight from Birmingham straight up to Carlisle, you can't technically do that, but I do need to stop off from this line for the crisscross. That's what's important about this. So I've now got to do from Birmingham this side. Am I in pause mode, by the way? Yes. Right, let's go into play mode, because look at my money disappearing very quickly. And let's also fast forward. <laughs> my money's just disappearing. I told you this is going to be expensive. Right, bam, 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 bam. Right, go to here and then in.
go to here and then in here and in here and in keep it simple I overcomplicated the Manchester one but keep this one simple so now all I gotta do is then technically connect this and then I'm Gucci right I can then just build more train stations so if I went for that how is this looking pretty much a straight route Oh, breweries and grats. See, I, it makes no point to me because I'm nowhere near that place. Right. No bridges, no tunnels. But of course, it goes against me then digging into the ground slightly. And that's going to cost me 30,000. So why can't I build? What stopped me executing this planning? What what stopped me executing that planning? Oh, it's sixty-seven thousand. I don't have sixty-seven thousand. <laughs> Alright, okay. Let me play around with some of these spots. So maybe going a little bit higher. No, it definitely doesn't work out there. I'll add the money in just a minute anyway. So I'm just playing around with the... Uh... Right, that's the cheapest I'm going to get it. And boom, bye. So I'm definitely not going to be able to afford... Uh, the next line... You can see my. It, it, you can see it all that coming together, can't you? You can slowly see it coming together. So in reality, then Birmingham's going to need that. Well, once I get it all set up, to be honest with you, I could run the line from Birmingham to Manchester right now. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I need. I only need to do one more track. But Birmingham and Manchester are going to have that thing that I just researched that they could just swap goods between two different lines. Because we're going to have the third line tear through both of those cities, which connects the one and the first line and second line all up right it's a little bit of a wait right now to get it all done but i've got to remember to always have it in play mode while we do this because i mean i'm making money and look how quick i got the 50 grand already this time so i need 68 grand right now this is what i need and i need my my dover to birmingham route to stop off a few times because that's what carries uh, the big bulk and that's what makes me the most money that line it's a big money earner for me. So we're just playing the waiting game right now. Waiting for 68,000 big ones to come in. There we go, baby. Right, it's in. So I should now have the ability to build additional stations, right? So even though I can't afford it, I now have the ability to do it. But obviously, construction costs say otherwise. Right. Okay. Hey, a glorious. Now, like I said, I could get the route from there to there, but I still want to get this big boy in first. And that's what's really going to cost me the money. So it costs, it's going to cost me about 50 grand for each train station, the three of them. So I'm going to need at least 150 grand right now. And then it's going to cost me a fair bit of money to build the train lines. So Liverpool to Manchester won't be that expensive. Finishing the rest of this after York won't be that expensive. But the route from Liverpool to Hollyhead is going to be the most expensive one. So, we're going to need a few pennies for this. Quite a few pennies right now. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. And as soon as Birmingham is now going to be treated as the big boy, um, like I said, you can then add... Uh, is it train station, construction extension, post office, market hall, dispatch hall, a kind of restaurant, market hall, la di da Um... Did I research that thing? I don't know how it quite worked. No, I didn't research it, did I? I didn't research it. I was going to wait until I had the ability to do it. But, um, yeah, we've got the maintenance depot, which is exactly what we need. I could also reduce that as well to maintain a lot uh, more often. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let it do what it's got to do. Let it do what it's got to do right now. 
Right, so we've got enough to do a train station, so we'll do the Liverpool one first. Bam, 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 bam. So right on the edge, fifty thousand big ones. Good luck with it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know if it's been uh, condescending towards me. I don't know. Uh, right, so how much would it now cost me to build this, like what I normally do? Apparently quite a bit. A hundred and sixty big ones, basically. Now, how did that all of a sudden become so expensive? You there. So that is where you're getting it slightly cheap-ish. And we run that directly into there, but like I said, I need 161 big ones. Right, even though we've upped the prices, my trains don't come often enough. You can see him right now all scoo-doo-dooing along. Come on, boys, you've got this. So I think that'll be the most expensive one to connect. Then again, is that in a ditch like, um, like Manchester? Because the speed on that is 40 kilometers. Let me, if I delete it, do I get my money back? Yes, I do. I do. So, if I go for a slight-ish bend, further back, and then, in terms of track constructions, I'm going to run that, obviously, all the way to this one. And the bend's not perfect, so I can throw something on this to make said bend. Alright, that's how we'll do it. Now, we've got to fine-tune all of this so it's not doing what it's trying to attempt here. So, bringing you down. That's going back up. Bring you down. Because this is all reducing the, uh, the pennies in what it's going to cost me. Now, that becomes 176 big ones. So that, but that's a direct line. So that's cheaper than before. And it's doubled the length. So if I come out of that, if I go back into it, it's still there. So we just got to wait till we've got 176 big ones. Right, trains, do your worst. Right, is Dover still growing, by the way? It, wow! It really is. Now, what makes Dover grow versus Birmingham not to grow? Like, how, how how do I figure this out? Goods, list, passengers. Passenger mail. How, how do I work this out? You know what I mean? I'm not 100% sure what makes it grow. Because, yeah, this is getting its goods. But so is Birmingham. Dover's really growing, isn't it? It really is. I'm quite impressed. But hopefully with the additional connection, once we get this up and running, Birmingham will become quite good too. Now, something that I've noticed is my enemies, my competitors. Yo, look at this company right now, this AI. He's got four cities on his route. Oh, snap, so is the other one. Where are they? Just over here? They've got four cities connected on the route as well. They've got some intricacy on the go, don't they? It's interesting to see how they build their routes. It doesn't look normal. But, you know, who am I to complain? Because the routes that they're taking... Oh, I see what they're doing. They're also picking up from, like, over here. Yeah, yeah, okay. They, they, they've gone for efficiency, haven't they? They've gone for efficiency. Um, right, we're actually quite close right now to getting the monies for this route. So, come on, you foes. I did get the... Did I get this other second one? Yes, I did. I, I built that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, come on, boys. There we go. We've now got the funds. So, if I build this... Very good, very good. Now, to obviously build the secondary one... 
which will go all the way over to there, is going to cost 81,000. So once you've got that in, that's technically the, the main line then done. And I could try and save up for York. At least I can get three cities on the one route until I can afford to build to uh, Hollyhead. And I'll get one train line that goes back and forth to Birmingham as well. It's what we're trying to attempt to do. Right, so while that does its thing then, if I preempt the rail line right now, so if I went from Manchester to Birmingham, for example, and I went to put a train on, we got the Rocket and the Adler. So the difference in them, the Adler is more expensive. It's, wow, okay, it's 13 grand more expensive, but it does go a lot quicker. Right, the tractive power means it can go on inclines a bit quicker as well. It's a bit more reliable. Maintenance requirements are a bit less. Consumption is a little bit more, but it's understandable because it is going at a higher speed. So, that could be interesting. More frequent deliveries and all that kind of jazz. Uh, uh, are you sure you want to exit this mode? Yes. So we'll see what goes on on that. We'll see what goes on on that. Let's go away from to complete these routes a little bit. Oh, have you got enough now? Oh no, it was 80, 81,000 I need. Well, there's a few trains coming to Oxford right now anyway. So hopefully we get some cash from them. Looking good, looking good. There's a train coming into London by the looks of it. A few little pennies. Very nice, very nice. Um... And I think we're now waiting for these trains to get to Dover. And then I should have my cash. I should then have my cash to uh, build that route. So, bam. And then next train coming in. Uh, oh, got 100 grand. Bam, there we go. <laughs> so, full transport Inc. expands network. Rail length now over 200 kilometers. I took 2,000 kilometers, sorry. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Now, obviously, I need to do the V's and stuff like that, but should we just get the Birmingham to Manchester route underway? I think we should. I think we at least should get that route up and running. So, lines. Birmingham to Manchester. Oh, is that route now gone? Oh, wait, does that route not exist? It doesn't, does it? No. New rain line. Bam. Bam. So we get the Adler on it. One train. And it's 46 big ones to confirm. Uh, load and automatic. Go. So the route on your train lines that are cleared in both directions. The route offers no... Oh! Com are you... Okay, I will confirm it, but I've realised what I've done. I haven't done the crisscross on the Birmingham section here. So there, bam, bam, there, bam, bam. And the line in which we go, like that. So it leads all the way up to here, which goes bam, bam. Perfect. And we'll leave it like that for now, even though I could do it to this one. Right, there we go. So, where does that trade now spawn from? Fools Transport Inc. uses Eagle. New locomotive conquers Europe. Eagle? What do you mean? There's the train. All loaded up right now. Mailbags, passengers. Let's go. So we will need maintenance depot, more importantly, but the supply thing in the middle too. So building-wise for that, a supply tower is 30,000 big ones. So I build that just here. Sorry for slowing you down. <laughs> there we go. So you've got a supply tower in the middle. For now, it can only maintain itself in Birmingham, but we'll just see how things get on. We'll see how things get on first. Because, uh, again, trying to save the monies. The monies. So. Additional route means additional pennies I think you just made 20,000 big ones or was that just me 
And I, I probably will need to select this. Yeah, make 25,000 big ones. I will need to select what line it's also on. Um, right, Birmingham to Man Man Manchester. Uh, edit the line. So in Birmingham. We'll make it use number two. No one's really on number two, are they? Confirm. And then the Manchester one. Edit Manchester. It's on number three. I'll make it use number two as well. Why not? Why not? Confirm. Right, sweet, 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 sweet. So I've got 91 big ones currently in the bank. That's great. So let's try and get all this rail now connected here. So this shouldn't be too much money. But I suppose it all adds up though, doesn't it? All adds up, boys. There we go. There we go. And then do the Liverpool one. Wow. Liver doing the Liverpool routes is so expensive. It really is so expensive doing the Liverpool ones. I think it's because of the incline that's also being accounted for it as well. But it is crazy, right? Manchester train's now coming in. Enjoy the fame. Who knows how long it will last. Leave me alone. Stop bullying me right now. Is he trying to intimidate me? So, oh, this one's 7. How do you go from 57 to, to 7? How does that work out? I have no idea. No idea. But right, can you hurry up, please? Trains. I need to make some monies. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So next then. It's this one side which is so expensive. This one not so much. But that side's ridiculous. Oh, it's because I'm building additional station platforms. That's why. I've just realized why it's so expensive. But I need them. Kind of. I need them. So I ain't going to complain too much. I ain't going to complain too much. So Falls Transport Inc. has the fastest train. The Adler reached 33 kilometers an hour. Oh, snap. But is it doing much for my... Um, my stock value. Oh, I'm no longer at the bottom. I'm now I'm now second in terms of stock value. Is that the dude who keeps speaking to me? I think it is, isn't it? So my company value is 5.4, nearly 5.5. His is well, 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 his value is a lot higher. Is it because I've I've got more assets, do you reckon? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Right, that Manchester train is on the way back. Can I select it? It does get some speed, though, doesn't it? It does get some speed. Got some mailbags and passengers and all that jazz. Now, I need to build in uh, in Birmingham the, the ability to transfer cargo from the different lines. 90 big ones currently in the bank right now, which is good. So with what's currently on board here, it shouldn't make us too much cash. It should be like about seven grand again. About that anyway. Toot toot. There we go, seven grand coming in. Not bad, not bad. And then should load back up in just a moment. Passengers and mails, passengers and mail. Off it goes again. Right, Bang has had a little bit of a growth, but not by too much. Not by too much. Very good, sir. Very good. 
So, right, what's the goal then? What is the goal now then? To get the rest of Liverpool set up? I think so. I think so. So we'll go to here and then in. Which is an extra 50 grand for the platform. Here and in. Extra 50 grand for the platform. I'm now connected Liverpool to Manchester. So we could have a line running back and forth, which is all good. Now, for these guys, they, they both of these need um, livestock, which is coming from here. So a track down with a little V, or a Y connection, I should say, supplies both of them cities. Oh, this is good. This is perfection, if I've ever seen it. <laughs> now, I do want to get York all up and running as well. I do want to get York all up and running. And I could have a train going back and forth between uh, Manchester and Liverpool right now. But I'll save it for when I've got York on the go. Now, back to the research in any way. Where's the researching, boys? There we go. Uh, was this the ability to allow goods to transfer to uh, platforms or lines? Yeah, we'll get that researched as well. And what is this here? Increases the maximum speed of all early locomotives up to and including the Adler by 5%. Wow, that only increased my speed by 5% on both my two trains. And then we've got deep pockets. After an auction has ended, the costs are lower. Increase the maximum speed of your locomotives can corner by 10%. Right, that's just making my trains faster no matter what. So that Adler right now, I'm actually still connected on it. It did 33 before. It went up to 34 for just a second then. Did you see it? So I'm 33. It depends on what terrain it's on. Okay, it's stopped now for some supplies. This should really work out for us. Right, in terms of Birmingham then, if I was to construct a... Uh, not a city building, sorry. I need to click on the train station, don't I? Uh, add in now uh, the ability to... Oh, it's 140,000. Uh, you can specify up to six goods per warehouse. Okay, we'll save that for another time when I've got all this up and running. Because I'd ra I'd rather use that money to kind of uh, build the line up here. You know what I mean? I'd rather do that. I'd rather do that. Right, 120 big ones right now. So I'm pretty much gearing up then to building the train station in York. York requires uh, gr uh, wheat, which is over there. What does Hollyhead require? The Perfect. Loving life. Loving life right now. So building constructions. We'll get the train station connected. So this will be about there, right? Perfect. And then track construction. You. To there. There we go. So it's adding additional platforms in, which is why it's costing me 150 big ones. See, that's something I didn't realize till earlier. I didn't realize it was costing those big dollar bills because we're adding all the stations in. And that's probably why it's not such a good idea in the early game to build the stations that I'm building. Because there's how many platforms in total? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven platforms that you've got to add on. Which is an extra 350000 you have to normally spend. Not a problem for me, because, you know, balling. It can become an issue, though. It can become a slight issue. Right, we'll, we'll leave it right now and come back a little bit later. So, my train lines, then. You can see how much money they're now making. The Jones Station to Dover. Is that not making any good cash right now? The train's heading back with some uh, grain on board right now. Maybe it broke down, and it hasn't had to, to do a delivery in over like a week or two, so it's showing like a negative profit. The balance. Yeah, it's had some maintenance, which has kind of uh, slowed down the uh, the revenue that it would normally earn. <coughs> Look at this. Yo, Dover's up to 37,000 people. <coughs> Dover's loving life. Nice little four grand coming in. Right. 
I ain't doing none of that bidding, boys. So they're, they're bidding for poaching. Is it this? Reduces the cost of recruitment personnel uh, office by 5%. Interesting. Uh, Flamingo Inc. New railway station. Oh my goodness me. Yo, look at the growth. What about over here? The growth is slowly happening for everybody right now. So I do need to get Manchester hooked up. Is it worth me hooking Manchester up now? No, I, I still think I should... Uh, follow through all of this all the way in which is 67,000 big ones I could actually build the two lines here and feed Manchester and Liverpool but I'll do it after I've done this one though because I really want to get I'll do the free for now and I'll get Hollyhead connected at some point in the future All right. Train's about to enter London in just a moment. One's on the way back to Oxford. Another one's on the way to Oxford. Going to Dover and all that jazz. So we should make some cash in just a moment. We should make some cash in just a moment. So we can build you. Very good, very good. So I won't worry too much then about the other platforms. I'll just get this one side set up for now. So we can get that train line from all the way from York to Liverpool up and running. Because I won't need to worry about anything else at the moment in time. So I've got to do the crisscrosses. I just remember that. I don't know if I did the ones in Liverpool. Did I do the Liverpool crisscrosses? I did not. I did not. All right, that's now set up. Crisscrosses are there. Crisscrosses are there. Sort out the one-way directions of these uh, routes. You're now one-way. You're one-way. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we can do a new train route. So, York to Manchester to Liverpool. And then back to Manchester. So in terms of York then, it's going to go on, you can't really move that out of the way, platform one. No, we'll go for two. No, we'll go for three. Platform three is what we'll do. Manchester, platform three. Liverpool, three. Then on the way back to Manchester, I've got to do platform six to spread it out. So we leave the bypassing routes completely open. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So trains then. We'll get the Adler on, which is all good. And I'll only do one train for now. One, because obviously I can't afford any more. Uh, but two, just kind of give it time to build up as a little bit of demand. Now, I don't have any ability to throw in... Or I don't have any money, sorry, to throw in the supplies just yet. And that whole route there has no maintenance on any of the train stations. So the train's coming down already. I think Manchester should be the one, because also that route comes in. So two routes crisscross through Manchester. So we'll add on to the, the train station here. If I can afford it, the maintenance depot, which is 82 big ones. Well, we should have enough to get that. I mean, this train coming in right now will pay for it. There we go. So add in the maintenance depot. So all trains going through Manchester right now can be maintained. And then once I can afford it, I've got to put the supply run on. Now, the supply run for between Manchester and York, we've got one for this line, so I don't need to worry too much. It's there. Well, if I pull it here, it will then be utilized for the trains that go this way as well. So you can pretty much get two in one. Now, the one for Liverpool here... That's a little bit more tricky because we're going to have two trains V in. So we need one there and then... Oh, it's going to be annoying. One there as well. Or I can do one on there and then... Maybe just let that one be the one for all of this and then do one over here for Hollyhead and separate it. Uh, it it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But got to get that supply building down. 
which will be here for us there. Right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So that should see us through a little bit more. I've got so many cities now connected, it's unreal. It's unreal. So in terms of our companies right now, uh, we're now, oh, we're now low. So we've got to keep going. We've got seven connected cities. We've got the more cities than anybody else. But I've got to feed these cities a bit more as well. That's what I've got to do. I've got to feed them a bit more. Right, trains have had little small little breakdowns right now, so we've got to wait for them. Money's rock and rolling in. But this is where we got to feed them. Feed them, Sidiac. Feed them. And I'll do this one to feed both Liverpool and Manchester. That just makes the most sense to begin with. So, building-wise, spin Jitsu this right round. Now, I won't do anything fancy on this one. I won't do anything fancy whatsoever because there's no need to do it. There's literally no need to do this. So if I bring you just to here, and then these train lines, do you know what? There's no need to do anything fancy. I'm going to keep it like that. Bam. There we go. Build. So this is obviously going to bend to here. And that bends to there. But then we also need a bend down to here. And a bend just to there. So that completes it. As long as we do a crisscross here. The two, the two platforms there will be one for each Manchester and one for Liverpool. Makes sense. Right, that's all set up on the V. Now when it comes to the, for the supply on this... It's easier to put one supply here for the two cargo trains going back and forth because they have to run up this line. I won't pull it here for the train that goes from Manchester to Liverpool. It's going to have a supply there, and I'll put the other supply about here. Then that becomes even through the whole line. But until then, we'll have to kind of wait. We'll have to wait. So I won't put the supply down just yet. We'll get the train lines all up and running. But we're so close. So we're going to need about another 100 grand uh, to be able to buy uh, a train each. I'm going to go for the Adlers because they're a bit more powerful. You'll get more frequent deliveries only by a few, you know, a few, few seconds. But it all adds up over time, doesn't it? It does all add up over time. Dover's still growing like crazy. It's still got the plus up arrow, which is glorious. And we're almost to the point where we've got enough money as well. So look at that. Money's just rolling in. Probably not as quick as the other companies that, you know, that we're competing against. But it works. So, bam, bam to Liverpool. Now, in Liverpool, we'll make it use Platform 1. Perfect. And this one on the left one. Perfectly fine. I'm happy with that. Very good. Confirm. Oh, we didn't do the directions. Let me pause. Right, I'll pause for a second. Tracks. So, bam, bam, they're the directions. There we go. Sweet, mate. Back into play road. So that one now do its thing, that train. I'll go back and forth and do its thing. Another new train line. Bam, bam. And same for this then. So the Manchester one will go on number one. And this one will be number two, number, number one. It'll be number one on this one. There we go. Because the Liverpool was on number two. Perfect. So, train on. Confirm. We're now feeding both Liverpool and Manchester their goods. So, do I have two trains now here? Wait, hold on. Something's not right. That's the train to Manchester. Where's the train to Liverpool? Oh, it's already down here. I thought I had the game in pause mode. <laughs> I had, well, I did have then. I no longer do now. So Beagle Discharge. Charles Darwin departs from Plymouth. Oh, my. Um, research Royal Navy. Uh, research uh, South America. Also on board. The 22-year-old naturalist uh, Charles Darwin. The research ship is in... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Should we get some... And that day may never come. Okay. I will call upon you to do a service for me. 
okay. Not creepy at all, but hey ho. Um, right, perfect. So let me get the supply uh, tower in for these guys just here. And now the money's rolling. Now the money seriously is rolling in. So I could get the rest of this uh, York station now all connected. There's nothing stopping me. Or I can get the, the wheat down to here connected. Now because they produce a different kind of good to Manchester and Liverpool, it would make sense to get this connected first. Now this is an end station, so it can just kind of run directly out. And to be honest with you, I don't feel like we need to do that there because like I said, it is an end station. So if we just get connected like this, Uh, bam. And there's only going to be one train running on this line. So I could just have it go from there to here. And no one will bat an eyelid because it's only one train. You know what I mean? So if I then did a new rail line, added my train on. And that's all it needs to do. Ma -ma 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 magic. But the only, obviously it does need a supply. But also that train has no ability to now maintain itself. Neither does the train coming down here to Liverpool. Thinking about it. So eventually all the train stations going to have to have those um, maintenance on. So at least let me get the supply tower in for this one. There we go. So they should now then be producing some goods. So where's the train that goes York to Manchester? That's now stuck in with good meat for York. Perfect. And there's a lot more baggage going on too. This is really good. This is really good. We've just kind of slightly ramped up the monies. And for the first time ever, we now got a city to uh, free bars. Dover has grown. <laughs> right, that would be kind of cool as well to utilize this Owen farm, bring it into Dover. Seeing as Dover's growing, we can increase and upgrade its industry. Bye, Bigum. Not so much. But, with that now said, I should be able to, on the train station, get the thing that crisscrosses the warehouse, uh, change from one line to the other, giving uh, the goods more destinations. Confirm. Confirm. So, the warehouse... The chosen goods that we can now switch would be, would it be livestock, meats, um, how, how do I do this, is this like, oh no 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 no, let me delete all this. I just realised what's going on. So we'll be able, we, we transfer livestock, we're also producing beer and wool uh would also transfer cloth are we even creating cloth no wool's coming from over there this is the raw good isn't it where's the meat meat so we won't transfer wool we won't transfer livestock even though we could because it comes from there we'll, okay we'll add that in because it comes from the fletcher train station we can maybe bring some livestock up to manchester that would kind of help those guys out so that train from Birmingham to Manchester then is now going to do different things for us. But at the moment it's completely full. Okay? It's completely full. <laughs> but if it's not full, it could take some goods. Which would then main make sure that that train is always full. But it wouldn't probably mean I need multiple trains on this. Oh, this is exciting. Very exciting, boys. Very exciting. Now I understand what it does. Now I understand it. So things are going swimmingly. Not as much as I wanted to get connected because obviously money issues, but look at all of a sudden we've now got half a million in the bank. Uh, this quarter is probably the most money I've made in a single quarter to date. My, look, oh my goodness me, I, I, I went to second then dropped down to, zero, uh, to third, and now I'm about to become the most expensive company via um, stock value. I'm on the way to doing it. 
I'm, this is the closest I've ever been. The closest your boy has ever been right now. And everything is looking good. It's all looking good. I might need to play around with some of my maintenance. The route from Birmingham down to Dover, I might need to change, uh, change the trains to the, uh, the, the, the Adler ones. So, uh, things are looking up. Again, some research coming in. Uh, reduce the construction costs of all buildings, including the factory by railway, uh, and railway buildings by 5%. I'll save the research points and just see how we get on with those. But you can now start to see this train needs, uh, oh, we'd start with about main, um, freight. Okay, now it's picked up some freight. But we might need multiple trains going back and forth here because of the distance, but we'll play around with it next episode, making sure that we've got enough trains on. But, well, any for now, boys, we've done some serious expansions and we are competing with the AI. Uh, we're doing, hopefully, just as good of a job as they are. More cities now connected. Absolutely amazing. So, if you are enjoying this, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good.